So now we're plummeting straight down. Oh. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Panzer here and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. And today we've got another challenge. This is a different challenge to the last one uh, that it took on, which was the Tiny Plane Challenge. If you've not seen that one, link down in the description below, please go and check that one out. So this time round, we're going to be doing something, in my opinion, something amazing. So I've been doing a little bit of research on the internet. And I came across the altitude record for a uh, fixed wing aircraft, or specifically jet aircraft. So, previously, the record that was officially set was done by a uh, Russian pilot in a prototype MiG 25, and that record is 37,650 meters. But I think we can go one better than that. So, of course, there are some caveats to this. We know that jet engines will flame out, and we know that they will not provide thrust beyond a certain altitude. So, I've concocted a plane that might be able to be... Well, it might be up to the challenge. So, right here, as you might expect, I've done this properly. And this aircraft right here... Well, sort of inspired by the SR-71 Blackbird, so it's got four engines and a whole host of intakes to ensure that we can get the maximum possible thrust before the engines unfortunately flame out. So, hopefully we can actually do this. Alright, here we are on the runway, I'm just going to turn the brakes on so we don't roll forward. And I forgot to mention one additional part of the challenge, so of course, any record set can't be something that's done just once, and that's the end of it. We have to make it all the way up past 37,650 meters and come back down and land safely. Now, if you've seen the previous challenge, you know how roughly that goes. So, I don't really know if I'm actually the person to be doing this, but nevertheless, here we go. Engines on breaks off, and we're starting off at 50% throttle, and just waiting till we reach our takeoff speed of 60 meters a second, pull back, there we go, and wheels in, and here we go, altitude record, here we come, let's turn the SAS on to keep us pointing straight at the sky, and full throttle. Now these are the most powerful uh, atmospheric engines you can get in Kerbal Space Program currently. Uh, well, in the vanilla game. I've not installed any mods whatsoever, I've got no cheats active, this is purely vanilla game stuff right here. So... I've got no secret advantages whatsoever. Now I did attempt this in a couple of different designs before and they kind of ended as well as you might expect actually. Um, in fact the first design I did got very very close to breaking the record but unfortunately it wasn't actually designed for the sort of speeds that we're currently, um, well not currently doing but going to be doing. And uh, when it reached about 800 meters a second, it kind of just broke into several pieces. So, that didn't go well. And uh, the design after that, well, its wings came off when we were coming back down. Uh, needless to say, we didn't actually break the record. So I've not actually attempted this before, which should be interesting. So we're coming up to 500 and... Oh, coming up to 600 meters a second now. We're going twice the speed of the sound barrier, or twice the speed of sound uh, at sea level. So that should be Mark II, if my memory serves me right. And I believe the engines are getting close to flaming out. Yep, fuel flow is coming down, thrust is dropping. And now intakes, there's the flame out. There we are, 27,000. Can we do it? 37,000. We're slowing down now. And you can see our velocity indicator is very slowly dropping there. 
Can we do it? 34. It's definitely slowing down now. 35,000. Come on, a little bit more. 36,000. 37. Can we make it to the 650? 5, 6, 7. We've done it! Freaking did it! 38,000. Alright, what record can we set here, though? In fact, <laughs> this is being KSP. It has actually um, detected that we're in orbit now. 38,350 there. Ladies and gentlemen, a new highest altitude record. And now, to bring us back down. And I've got RCS. I've actually equipped this aircraft with the vectored thrust engines to allow us to come safely back down and hopefully it's going to help us we're now descending past 35,000 meters and there is the Kerbal Space Center that we have to reach we're actually still fairly in line with the runway at this stage so now we have to make it back down and cut enough speed and to do that I have a maneuver in mind yep we're inverted I'm going to turn off the SAS there. And... Engines are back online. Here we go. So now we're plummeting straight down. Ooh. SAS back on. Let's pull this back together. Can we do it? currently having to wrestle it back under control right now. Almost level, but you can see the velocity indicator is pointing straight down. We're still falling through the sky right now. Come on. You can do it. Come on. There we go. This is off now, back to flight surfaces, and I do believe we are well under control now. Time to slow this plane down, actually. <laughs> We're going way too fast right now. It looks like we are well and truly under control now. There it is with a new altitude record set. Can we bring this plane in? Can we do it? We're still coming in way too fast. In fact, we're currently still doing Mark II pretty much right now. And, um... Don't know if we can slow down in time. Now, the, the keen-eyed among you might have actually noticed that this aircraft does actually have two stages, and I have equipped this with Drogue chutes. Now, there are only four of them, and this is quite a heavy plane, and we still have most of our fuel left. So, I don't know entirely if we have enough braking force to slow us down enough. Now I'm going to cut the engines off completely and let the plane glide in. Still going way too fast to even think about bringing the landing gear out. Can we do it? We're on approach. Slightly off. Gears down. Oh, that's a good line. That is a good line. Shoots! Slow me down! Oh, stop before the end of the runway. Come on, brakes! Come on, come on, come on. Stop, 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 
Butt clenching. Clenching very hard. We stopped. We're still in one piece. Holy shit, I think we've done it. Hang on. Whew. So the engine's off. We've actually done it. I've managed to land a plane. <laughs> And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a new al highest altitude record. What was it? 38,000 something. I don't even remember now. I, I, I don't know what to say. I wasn't actually expecting to be able to do this. I'm completely speechless now. Um. Well successful challenge but uh, <laughs> I don't know what else to say but if you have enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel and uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about any of the designs that you have seen in this or previous Kerbal Space Program videos and if you have a challenge for me feel free to leave it down in the comments below and it might appear in the next one. My name is Panzer, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>